You are listening to Straight Facts with OG Booby Black. If you're looking for the wisdom, knowledge, and facts from the OG, then lock in with us. This is all from the OG perspective. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right now, we got one of my man men in the building, you know what I'm saying, man? What's happening with you? Jay Witt, you heard me, the rawest producer in the game, you know what I'm saying? I call him a super producer because he dealt with a lot. He didn't dealt with plenty, you know what I'm saying? We got Jay Witt in the game. What's happening with you, Witt? What's happening with you, Where's Wood? I'm with OG. I'm straight facts. Yeah, that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? We right here in the night day, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got a lot of things to talk about, bro, you know, because I know people want to know what's happening with Jay Witt. You know, you have the thing... When I looked on the Instagram, it was all over social media. It went viral for a minute when they had the white girls. It was like, where's Wick? Where's Wick? And this, this shit just went crazy, you know what I'm saying? But you were saying that way before this came out on to the media, you know what I'm saying? So tell us a little about the meaning of where's Wick? You know, what's, what stands behind that and what, what's the meaning of it? The meaning behind this, with the music, I move around a lot. And yeah. So people always ask me where I'm at, and they think I'm in this place, but I'm not in that place. I'm in another place. And so they just be asking, "Where's we?" So I took it around with. Me. Oh, so you took that around with? You. That's cool though. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like that. It make 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 sense. You know what I'm saying? Where's with you? And he ain't over here. He over there. But tell us a little, you know, about what you got. You know, what you just tell people like about what do you do? Like your whole, you know, super producer. You know, this your whole your, your whole thing that you got going on. Like, what do you do, you know? My main thing going on is producing the beats, breaking artists, DJing, creating work, just trying to brand out a new sound. Right, right, right. Like that. Yeah. Right. And I have done many projects with you. I'm talking about, you've been a great person to me, man. And um, I, I want to, you know, be on the podcast and I really want to, you know, let you know, and I want to let the world know, you know what I'm saying, that I appreciate you a lot, bro, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm very thankful for the things that you did in my career that helped me as far as with your beats, and as far as this with you always been on perk, if I need something, I'm going to that going to get there, you know what I'm oh, saying, yeah. so I, 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 I would like to thank you for that, but, you know, tell us some things that, you know, we have, that you have going on that we can expect that's coming, going to be coming from with. A lot of placements on the way, a lot of album placements, getting locked in. Future takes with up and coming artists. I fuck with the underdogs too. All right, all right, that's real, that's real. Yeah. And where you get that from? Fuck with the underdogs. You can tell me where you get that from because I think I heard that before. Yeah, I get that from OG. All right, state that. You know what I'm saying? Because facts. I had to hit them. I had to hit you. you yeah. It gotta be facts. Where did you get that from, bro? That's no straight facts, straight facts, my man. But I'm gonna tell you something, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's always good. When I can put something in a man's life, bro, and they, they can remember me for it. That's all I want. You know, I don't want nothing, like, no, nothing from nobody. You know what I mean? Ever since me and you've been working, it's like, you made a lot of money dealing with me and dealing with the brand. You know what I'm saying? And I always gave you an open lane for that. You know what I mean? It's like, if I'm doing a feature, man, your beat's cool, but I got this, you know, little young dude over here named Jay Whitney. He's the rawest in the game. You know what I'm saying? And, that done brought you a lot of money to the table, you know what I'm saying? You and I know that, you know, but um, I think that it's good that, you know, people work with each other, no matter who it is. You know, you got to work with a person that's that's got a creative art that's better than yours. And your creative art is that you make beats, you, you produce, you do all, all type of things. I, I I don't know how to DJ. <laughs> you put me on a motherfucking computer, only thing I know is Instagram. You did what you, but I guarantee you I could do a lot of things that he can't do. I could do some shit you can't do, Jay Witt. You might have to get on the ones and twos and get your motherfucking groove on, but guess what? I can stay some facts. You heard me? But, um, yeah, man, it's good that you hear me. You know, what you got going on in your life? You know what I'm saying? Tell us, you know, I see you got your, your hair shining and, you know, you got the bun on top. And then tell us something that you got going on in your life. Like, you know, let the people know, you know, like, you know, how you eat, you know what I'm saying? If you exercise or whatever it is that you do. So when they see, would you say that, you know, yeah. they can see a J Wick? Right now it's Ramadan, so I'm fast. You know, protecting my peace and my energy. Just detox. Yeah. I don't eat meat. 
I'm a vegetarian. How long have you, how long have you been going without eating meat? 2017. Oh, that's a while. You, know, you don't yeah. eat it at all. Yeah. Tell us why. It ain't because of my love for animals and nothing like that. I just wanted to try something new because I was always eating the same foods when I was eating meat. And so it made me step out of my comfort zone and I tried a lot of new things. And then I liked it and so I stuck with it. All right, it was more refreshing to it. You felt that your body was more light, you know. Yeah. What did, you know, you, it's because I heard you said that you, you, you did it because it was something new to do. Yeah, it was, it was something new. But so you tried something new to do and, and you started liking it. Yeah. All right, basically. Basically. All right, well, tell us what you do daily, like, as far as, you know, keeping your, keeping your body up and, you know, the things that you do. I take vitamins, I take that. The herbs. What kind of vitamins? You gotta stay I take, I take like biotin for the hair and the skin. I take iron just because I don't eat meat, so I gotta get that that vitamin from somewhere to iron, you know, for the, And it go with the hair too, and then I take B6 vitamin, I take zinc. Fuck that shit. You so fucking health conscious. You don't take all these motherfucking vitamins. How do you state that? You tell the people how they're straight facts. Cause, nice. Cause how many vitamins you take? Because you know I'm gonna hit you with it. How many vitamins you take? If you do this every day, it should never be a number in your head that you should not know. Eight. You should know. You eight. take eight vitamins, name name all eight of them. Biotin, two biotins, iron, yeah. zinc, B6, vitamin C, uh, elderberry. You do it every day. Except iron. Except I only iron. take three days out the week. It's because right. you don't want to overload of iron. Okay, well, guess what? There you get it, people. Straight facts. OG Booby Black J. Wicked stated it. And I think that he mean it. And I think that it's the truth. And I think it's facts. You know what I'm saying? My man in here, you know, let y'all know what it is. You dig what I'm saying? A young man with a lot of things going on, you dig? So tell us about these Burberry glasses that you got on. Why would you want to wear them, you know, at an interview that you're coming to do with me? You know what I'm saying? What you don't want me to see your eyes? You know, that's a penitential move. You know that, right? You know that's a penitentiary move. Niggas in the penitentiary, they walk around with shades on so you can't look them in the eyes. You dig know what I'm saying? Because all the while, these niggas be lusting off you. You heard me? You walk up to a nigga, y'all conversating. Yeah, bro. You know, my, my paperwork ain't coming. Nigga looking down all at your ass and everything. Like, yeah. Nigga got some shades on, though. So when a person come at me and I sit with shades on, you know, it, 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 it shows me that they're they trying to hide something. You know, they can't look at me, you know what I'm saying, man to man, eye to eye, because these ain't shades, these are clear, and you can see my eyes. But, are you wearing them because they're Burberry, or are you wearing them because they got something to hide? I'm wearing them because they're Burberry. All right, that's straight facts, that's straight facts. That's fucking straight facts. Then you get it again. You got a young nigga with no cut, you heard me? You know what I'm saying? He's wearing the glasses because they're Burberry. <laughs> now, you know on straight facts, OG so gonna give you the business? Who is Burberry? I don't know them. So you'll wear something on your eyes that you'll pay so much money for that you won't even know who the fuck it is. Burberry could be a punk or a child molester. Burberry could be a person that was a slave owner that hated black people. Burberry could be somebody that don't even fucking like you. So it's always good. Take it from the OG. To do a background check on anything that you buy. Because you don't know who you're investing your money into. You might be giving your money to somebody to kill black children in, in another country. You're pro-white, you're pro-black, you know what I'm saying? Who are you? What type of person are you? You gotta ask yourself these things. OG gonna tell you the truth. A lot of people like things that it's only the fad. You know, this is in, so that I want it. You know what I'm saying? This is in, I, I like that, I'm gonna pay this for it. And you don't even know the person. You know, I would invest into that. Why have a lot of things about, you know, black-owned business. You know, support your brothers and you know, invest in the black-owned. You know, what I'm saying support. You know, what I'm saying I understand that because you have motherfuckers that support the white man. You know, what I'm saying I'm talking about motherfuckers don't even like them. You know, Chanel. I can speak about this motherfucker again. Chanel was racist and she was a slave owner. She married a man that had that, that was a slave owner. So by her marrying this man, she became a slave owner too. And y'all buy her purses and pendants and every fucking thing every day. And you know the funny thing about Chanel? She had two C's, the crooked C's. And every event she went to, she wore them on her chest. She wore them on her chest. You know like a man have a suit and he have a pocket at the top and they have a handkerchief in the pocket. 
she had this signature look to where she wore this double C on her chest at all times. Funny thing is, she's dead and gone. Been dead and gone. And they still have women wearing Chanel's signature look. They she finesse the game. The people finesse the game. So they made so many C's, double C's, and double C's. They made a lot of pendants. And what the motherfuckers did? They go buy them all. And where they put them at? On their chest. So when you see some woman, you walk around with the big Chanel rag, and she got the little pendant on her chest, the only thing you're doing is representing her. That's all you're doing. You know? But yeah, you got the Burberry glasses on, you know what I'm saying? You wear a lot of fly things. Tell us about some of some of the fashion that you that you wear and you know, tell let the people know, you know, how you like to get down, how you like your jeans cut, what type of foreign cut, whatever. Just talk to the people. I like I like a lot of upcoming brands. I like the stack jeans, I like the, the pants above the ankle, I like the off white shit, I like the stand socks. Um, Alright, but did you hear anything about off white making any type of racial comp racial slurs to all black people? Did you hear anything about that since you like the off white? Because I heard a lot about it. I heard a lot about it. And I'm gonna tell you something. I like off white too. I like the I like the you know what you like about off white? Hmm? Hmm? This is what you like about off white. You like the height. You like the height that it has a uh, orange tag on the thing with a light stripe and, a, and all that shit. That's what you like. You paying for the height, so you one of them. You know, I'm not, I must admit, hey, I'm one of them too. I done did a lot of shit that ain't make sense. Spent a lot of money that I could have kept. You know what I'm saying for some other shit, but I did it. Hey, we, we all do that. It's called a trend. Once a trend is in, everybody follow. Burberry glasses. I'm already sure they got a lot of people with them all. You know what I'm saying? But when you wear something like that that you gotta represent, know who the fuck you represent. You know? Now tell us a little more about, you know what I'm saying, you. More about me. Uh, ambassador for clothing lines, hat companies. What else? A lot of a lot of different brands that, you know, you see me wearing. It's, it's more than likely I'm ambassador and I'm a part of it. I got something to do with it. All right, well, state those brands so people will know. We got Simple Co, we got Brixton Mansion, we got uh, Diamond Avenue, we got Hat Club, we got Get With, which is mine. Got... Now, now, bring it back to this Hat Club, man, because you were telling me something about a hat. Yeah. You were speaking on this hat, and I know this is an official hat. I got this hat from, from Young Mo, you know, um, and it got the blue, blue rim. And you were telling me something about, yeah, man, it's, you know, this hat is a snap. And you were telling me about hats with pink rims. Yeah. Tell the people what that means when you got a 